Hello, welcome back. We're checking out Who by Jimin today. This is the title track for Jimin's comeback. Looking forward to it. After all, his debut was it was something else. So let's go. Oof. Tornado love. Already beautiful. I'm gonna turn this up already. Transition on that drum coming in. That was. God, oh my gosh, Ooh. that is the Jimin, that is the Jimin solo song that I was waiting for. Uh, listen, Like Crazy is fantastic. That whole album, his face album is, it's incredible, but do recognize that I definitely love Jimin in this aesthetic. Uh, definitely this, uh, uh, I mean, I didn't know it was this kind of, this specific aesthetic, but singing his heart out in a pop setting, uh, dancing his ass off and like crazy was a little bit slower. It was a little bit more, uh, lost in his emotions, but also, uh, it was a bit more, it was a bit more personal. That entire album was, and who feels like a great follow-up to all of that, where it feels a lot more fun, it feels a lot more pop-centric, but also still within that, he's got like this great, dark, beautiful aesthetic to his vibe. And it's so interesting that uh, with 
his Smeraldo pre-release that that was in a much more brighter, happier, warmer vibe. And this is still brighter, but not as bright as Smeraldo. It's just brighter than, I think, uh, Semi Free Part 2 and Like Crazy and the entire uh, aesthetic of that album. But this is the, like, this is the pop shit that I've been waiting for from Jimin. This is the pop shit that... I couldn't have been disappointed from his debut just because of how epic his <laughs> debut was. I think when you have a release that's very personal like that, it's it kind of subverted all my expectations and I loved it. And I think it's actually very per uh, perfect for his debut. But as a follow-up, I think it's perfect. It's giving me that wish fulfillment of what exactly I wanted to see from his debut initially. Um I love the music video. I love the aesthetic of the video. Just him simply walking into set and doing a whole dance video. Uh, no fluff, no B-roll. Um, the illusion of it, it's like almost like a one one or video. There are tons of cuts. Obviously, they're, they're not even hidden, really. But it's the momentum that they keep going throughout the video that I really like of feeling like almost like you're watching a play, you're watching a music, uh, like a like a stage musical of like, it's constantly moving, a lot of long sweeping camera work, uh, not a lot of the fast cuts that you tend to see. Um, some of the shots are really epic too, especially when around the middle, maybe the second chorus, when he joins up with the solo female dancer and then they start dancing and actually that might not be the portion. I think it might actually be a group of dancers opposed against another group of dancers and the way the camera is backing out and revealing the second group dancing opposed to them, the scale of that was incredible. And him just simply entering that shot at the end and then joining the rest of the dancers was also incredible. And the way they mess with both the visual aesthetic of like, oh, it's a pretty just uh, visually beautiful music video, uh, like HD, 4K, high quality, but then changing over to a tight uh a tight aspect ratio to the uh kind of like dirty old vhs aesthetic the kind of like the way they switch between that and the way it ebbs and flows so smoothly is uh it's beautiful let's let's go ahead and watch that again oh my gosh This is not what I was expecting. And it's always sexy to see a man just like in his feels while destruction is going around him. God, ooh. Oh, I love that. You can feel the drop coming, but I love that they don't cut until a beat after the drop. Like you feel you feel the drum coming. Especially with the way Jimin's voice is like leading it. Oh my goodness, hold on. The way he's leading it. And the guitar stops. Ooh. Ooh, and yeah, then they cut on beat again. They cut before the beat again. Oh. This video, as simple as it is, it is so masterfully directed. The way they hold on Jimin during this, his C line right here. The way they let him walk and travel and then he looks away and then it cuts very so masterfully done. Even the side scrolling of the camera. So gives it more of a musical, theatrical feeling. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, that is so pretty. Oh. And then the way the aspect ratio tightens in on that drum. Ooh. There's like a there's like this riser right here going and on that the aspect ratio widens again. Oh, so well timed. Oh, I see. So that's how it goes. Right. They they're dancing together and then they split right there. Oh, that's so smooth. Oh. oh, that is so smooth. constantly played off each other and then finally came together oh god wow again this billboard crashes they let that moment sit still for a little bit and have the camera panning and then they cut rather than cutting the moment that it crashes That comes in too. Right here. Oh, that was smooth. Ticks all the boxes. Blonde Chimin, Dancing Chimin, Pop Chimin, In His Feels Chimin, Gorgeous Music Video. My only complaint is why is this man releasing this from the military and not actively promoting this shit? My God, I, oh man, I love this so much. This is, this is everything I wanted in his solo debut. And then he shocked me with what he released and now that he gives me what I was expecting and what I wanted, he's not here. I know there's like a Jimmy Fallon uh, performance that I'm sure he pre-filmed, but uh, I want to see like a ton of live stages for this. I want to see the dance practices. I, I'm, I'm curious as to what he prepared and what amount that he prepared for this. I, I think it's an amazing song. I think especially the way that it's done, uh, I believe it's all English uh, and... I feel like the the sound that it is, it's such a great global pop sound. Oh my God, BTS. Uh, really, really killing it. Really killing it with the pop releases. Uh, kind of reminds me a little closer to something like Jungkook's 3D. Obviously 3D is a little bit more upbeat than this, but I really love the mid-aughts, uh, R&B guitar accompaniment, uh, sexy vibe uh, type of songs. And so I really, really loved it. And I think in terms of music video, you know, it's a little, cl it's, it's like a little bit of a mix of something like we saw with Like Crazy, kind of that same uh, blue tone aesthetic, except definitely it looks a little bit more like you're watching a film, uh, uh, especially like a very moody A24 nostalgic film. There's like a heavy film grade on this. Uh, but it's very visually beautiful like that, but just as captivating as Semi-Free Part 2 uh, in a much more magical way. Obviously, Semi-Free Part 2 is a little bit more epic and scary uh, in that way, but I loved it so much. Oh, my gosh. Uh, guys, let me know. What did you guys think of Jimin's Who? Uh, 
That's a solid 11 out of 10. I love, I love me. I love me that song. I love me, uh, I love me a good emo pop song. Uh, I love me a good song where a man is either singing and dancing in the rain or singing and dancing amidst uh, a natural disaster <laughs> and destruction. Uh, and so that was incredible. Uh, let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below and I'll see you in another video. Bye guys.